What's up everybody? My name is Eric Land. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. So real quick, just kind of want to go over everything. I want to show you my truck setup too that I have for water fed system. So it makes it super simple and easy. But uh, I kind of want to show you guys just, this is just the window cleaning area that I designated for the garage, okay? Milk crates do wonders. I got a bunch of these milk crates and I just put them all together. Uh, I guess we can start up here. These window cleaning buckets we use actually all the time now. Uh, whether it's, this one is for gutter cleaning. Uh, these here are for window cleaning. Um, we used to use spray bottles, which are up there in the top, you probably see them. They just don't work as efficiently as um, a bottle does. We can just squirt it right on the window and, and away we can go. Uh, but these are good for outside. These are just a bunch of extra uh, bobs that I have, my kind of belts here, some stuff to fix them, squeegees, a bunch of extra belts for the guys. The guys all have, um, I set all my guys up with uh, gunslingers and making sure that they have a good belt. I think that's really important. The gunslingers are amazing for them. They're not even, I don't even think they're called gunslingers anymore. I don't think they have a name because they're, they're all the ones that I have, um, except for one, maybe two, I think. The rest of them aren't out yet, so they're enjoying that. They're using the heck out of it. And um, for example, this one's not out yet. This has the three tool on it. One, two, three slot. And it's got the double barrel on the edges here, but I don't even know if I'm supposed to show that yet. But I got that, it's amazing. Uh, let's see what else, uh, shot back. We have a shop back for gutter cleaning. We're running an extra hose out. You can buy the extended pieces. They're 10 bucks a piece. I bought 14 of them. So, you know, it gets maybe a little expensive if you're just starting out, but honestly, it pays for itself in no time in one gutter cleaning. A couple brush, brush heads here. This here uh, is a um, gardener brush. The cool part, not that one. This is a gardener brush. This is a Unger brush that you would get at Home Depot. This one here is pretty awesome. I use this for awning cleaning. I take the backpacker and go over the awning. That's a whole other story. A couple extra bags of resin uh, for the Unger Hydro system. I don't know if you guys can see that. I do have this hooked up to, uh, that's a whole other thing that I have connected. I've got a filter on the bottom and this is sweet. I love that setup. Um, power washer, this says 2100 PSI. This is actually an old frame. Uh, this is actually uh, 3500 uh, PSI, I think, 3400, something like that. Hose for the power washer. Here's the backpacker. I don't know if you guys can see this stuff. The backpacker that I use for awning cleaning. A couple extra ladders. Here's the extenders that I was telling you about. Some I have, um, this isn't just regular duct tape, this is Gorilla duct tape, just holds on a whole lot more. And then I have ones like this where it just disconnects. But we use this on a ton of better cleaning jobs that we do. Uh, surface cleaner, this is a little one that you can buy from Lowe's or Home Depot. I don't even think they, maybe Home Depot carries this one still. Uh, I think I bought it for maybe 70 bucks, 60 bucks. I don't um, water fed uh, pull or water fed head here. This is the Wagtail Wave. This thing is ridiculously amazing. This is awesome too because it has a flip side to it. So I can go ahead and I'm working on this and say there's just something, some debris on there. I can flip it around and go to town. And, and I just can shut the water on and off by right here. So I can just twist the pull and away the water will be on or off. And I can set it to my adjusting um, length too. So, meaning if I want to let the water be on more, I can turn pull, pull more. This is my thunder uh, pull here. This is 27. Let's put that right back up here. It's all good. Uh, this pull here is absolutely phenomenal. I put my um, information on here just in case it gets lost with my telephone number. And just in case the guy's leaving or whatnot on the job. Let's see. Let's go to um, 
bunch of other stuff. This is a um, pole I made. Just a scrubby on it. But I just use this as a water fed pole if I'm using it down rather than two or three stories up. Got some bleach down there for house washes. Uh, let's see what else? Hoses. We can take a look at the hose on the truck, or the hoses on the truck. All right, we can go here. I think you guys can see it. Uh, this is a hundred foot hose here. There's another hundred foot hose coming as well. This one here is all hand cranked. This is uh, 200 feet of um, water fed pole hose. This one here is all hooked up. So I can go ahead and reel the hose in. Uh, 100 foot of hose, 150 foot of hose, 200 foot of hose on that. I can put 250 foot of hose on that there. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Let's see what else. Uh, the 30 foot, uh, 32 foot ladder goes across the top. Power washer goes up towards the front. Gutter cleaning equipment on that side. And then buckets along here. And then the inside here. Might as well come take a look too and show you maybe right there. Give me a second, I'll walk on the other side. Getting ready to storm. We had a half a day today. On the inside here, this is Vel's belt down there. This is a bunch of extra squeegees just in case we need them. There's a wagtail, there's a foot in here. A couple more wagtails, some more extra sorbo. These are mops, all clean and ready to go. A couple more in here. These here are, this here is scrubbers and scrape blades. Also um, bronze wool, a bunch of bronze wool in there. I just keep them in plastic container because this does get wet in here. But these bottles will tip out. This here is nothing but rubbers and they're all sized in bags. So this is 18, this is 24, and this is 24 or 18. Extra mop head in there too. I got mop heads all over the place. PG4 is in the bucket here. Extra tie down here. Let's all set this where I stick my uh, stuff in right over here. Now, when we're out and about, I have milk crates back here. I have these zipped down to the bed of the truck, and I'm just able to put my stuff in here, another employee stuff here, and another employee stuff there. So we're all set to go. I'll show you where I might put my water for the pool. If you come this way, I got my water fed pole in there. I put these little J hooks on there, which is fantastic. I also put some plastic on the uh, sides here. This is a flatbed that I made. I made this flatbed last year and I went ahead and put some plastic here. So when the hose is rolling up over it, it won't harm the sign on it. The sign is uh, made, it is aluminum. So I didn't want it messed up. Show you the reel. This has a locking mechanism on it, so it either can roll or I can stop it from rolling by just pulling a knob here, and it's locked in place, so it's not moving around. This also has a locking mechanism in here as well. So let's say if I wanted to, well, I can roll it by hand. If I wanted to lock it in here, I can pull this pin and that's locked in. But I never do because I never go to the move around maybe just a little bit. But that's my setup, you guys. Very simple and easy. Nothing really to it, but uh, it does get expensive if you're gonna continue to buy more and more stuff. Know that it's very simple in the beginning, but then when you get more houses, more businesses, more places, you're gonna spend more money. So 
think about that in the long run, but you have to spend more money to make more money, right? So I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See us.